Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgardener307. We are here for Mr. Snowgardener's August paycheck, his second paycheck. I'm way far behind, but hey, life happens. Here, keeping it real with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do his August budget. I also have some money for savings challenges that we are going to work towards. And I am so excited. I don't want to ruin the surprise. You'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. All right, you guys, here we are doing Mr. Snow Gardener's paycheck number two for August. And this was from 821. So let's talk about the money he's working with. So he got a paycheck of 4,052.88. I paid him 605. Rollover was 292.81, which brought us down to 4,950.69. We always round down because I like a little bit of extra more in the savings accounts and the checking accounts. And so he's working with $4,900. So Mr. Snow Gardener used a couple of his cards. So he does have a Cabela's balance and a PayPal balance. And so we have promised ourselves that if we put things on our cards, they are going to get paid off every single month. We're not getting back into overcharging and having that debt again. And so Mr. Snow Gardener paid 210.85 to Cabela's. We went ahead and rounded up 415 for Australia. PayPal was 38.38. Some of these are subscriptions and stuff, you guys. And so $40 was what we're accounting for because we're going to go ahead and round up $1.62 for Australia. And then Stash, this is a minimal amount of investing he does for $50. Um, his truck payment, 644.38 with a roundup of $5.62, which means that he is using $955 for bills. And just so you guys know, this paycheck, $821, um, his truck payment isn't due until $928. So he is a month ahead on all of his bills, and that's super exciting. So $955, $1139 going to Australia, which leaves $3,945. Then we've got some cash and some spending money down here. Spending money, $530. Home $50, miscellaneous and fun $50. So a lot of you guys have been asking, why does Mr. Snow Gardener get so much spending money? He works out of town all of the time. And so this is the money that he uses for food, for daily needs that he needs. And he does get a per diem. And generally that is where this dollar amount comes from is the per diem he gets from the company. And so $630 for that section, leftover of $3,315. Then up here for sinking funds, you guys know we have all kinds of sinking funds. We've got auto insurance for 400, subscriptions 50, garbage 40, land tax 40, Sam's Club 100, pets 150, Home 50, Guy Things and Stuff 100, Vroom Vroom 100, Motorcycle Insurance $25. That means that he's putting $1,055 into sinking funds of some sort. That leaves him with $2,260. Now, you guys, I'm so excited about this next line. So if you have watched my channel, you know that we had a goal to pay off. It was... It was, a, it was a lot of money <laughs> um, for a debt that we were not anticipating. And look at that. We have got $2,000 going to Discover. And you guys know what that means, right? If not, stay tuned and you'll find out what. So $2,000 going to Discover for that business debt. And that leaves $260. It's a little bit bigger of a rollover than I normally leave. But we're going to go ahead and just let it right on out. $260 into the rollover, which equals $0 left. So every single dollar has a job. And $11.39 going to Australia. So I do have my cash breakdown right here. I love any sort of sticky note that gives me um, a cash breakdown that I can take to the bank. These are from the budget mom. You guys I love the budget mom. She inspired me so much to start on my debt-free journey between her and Dave Ramsey. I melded their stuff together and I contribute to Dave Ramsey and to her for encouraging me along with lots of other YouTubers and stuff. But I bought this stack of, um, cash withdrawal slips and I don't know, three and a half years ago, still going strong. So we do have a placeholder for auto insurance. Everything else is going to be cash. So I'm going to set this off to the side where I'll mark it. You guys don't necessarily need to see it. And so I've got my wallet. We've got $50 going into home, $50 going into miscellaneous and fun. And so I've got my dividers right here. So we've got miscellaneous and fun. We're going to go ahead and put $50 behind there, $50 behind home. 
and uh, that's where it's at. Mr. Snowburner does not like using cash. Um, he prefers using his cards. And so, you know, as long as you can use cards responsibly, even if you use a debit card or whatever, then hey, everything is good. All right, let me keep track of what I've done here. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into Mr. Snowgardner's binder. And so we have got Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom is gonna go ahead and get $100. Hmm. 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 Oh my goodness, what did I do? These do not add up. It looks like I'm using some 20s. I don't know what I did on this bill breakdown. I've got that I need 17 20s, but I only have seven on my list. <laughs> I don't know what I did. We're going to put $100 in for room for room. Sorry about that. I digress. Then we're going to go ahead and put $100 in 20s in guy things and stuff. 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. I don't know what I did. That's hilarious. The dollar amount is correct, but the bills are not correct. But hey, whatever. It works. It works. And then we're going to go ahead and go to... Nope, we're not doing holidays. We're not doing gifts this paycheck. Um, giving, we are not doing giving this paycheck. It will be the next paycheck. We've got subscriptions. That's going to go ahead and get a 50. And you guys, I'm confusing myself. I mean, not that it's hard sometimes, but I'm confusing myself. Then we've got garbage for 20 and 40. So we'll go ahead and put $40 in there. Motorcycle insurance is going to go ahead and get $25, 20 and five. Perfect. That's it for his binder right there. Let me go ahead and mark off what we just did. So we did motorcycle insurance and garbage. And then we need to get out the adulting binder. Oh, the adulting binder. You know, sometimes you got to be an adult. And so in here, we have got auto insurance. We're going to go ahead and take this $400 placeholder. This is from Sweet and Sassy Budgets. It's so dang cute. So $400 going into there. And then we need to get to pets. Pets is going to go ahead and get $150. And we are just going to go ahead and let's see, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to do two fifties, two twenties and a 10. Okay. We can do that right now. So we're going to go ahead and put that into pets. So $150 into there. And then we need, let's see, Mm -hmm. I'm looking you guys because I am confusing myself so bad. We've got home. We're going to go ahead and take this 50 and put it into home. And then we need Sam's Club and there should be a hundred dollars. Oh, we need land tax. We skipped that. So 20, 40, 60, 80, one. Okay. You guys we're doing okay. Wow. I don't know what the heck I did. Like, was that actually a plan or did I just get lucky that it was the right amount? I don't know. So we need land tax, land tax right there, $40 going into land tax. That's it, you guys, for Mr. Snow Gardener's budget. How easy is that? Easy peasy. And now we're going to go ahead and do those savings challenges that I was talking to you guys about. And we have got $200 sitting around here somewhere. Oh, money. Where did I put you, money? Uh, you guys, I think I'm losing my mind. I seem to have misplaced $200 in cash, so I'll have to find it and I'll be right back. It wasn't that far. I promise <laughs> it was just under a binder over here. I was like, I know I pulled that. So I just grabbed some tens, some fives, some ones, and we've got $200 here. I think at least that's what I think we're going to go ahead and go through all of our sa savings challenges today. And we're going to go ahead and do our Christmas dreams. And this is going towards my books. So we've got $8 going towards my books. So five, six, seven, and eight. And I got to get the binder. This was where the cash was. That's why I was so confused. So Christmas dreams, getting $8 in there. And then we are going to play three rounds of shut the box. You guys, that's right. Three rounds of shut the box. And we need pink and purple for this right here. So pink and purple. Pink is what we roll. Purple is what we do not. Let's see if the dice are nice to us. We've got all of our dice in here. We do not need all of these dice. Not quite yet. We will use these ones a little bit later. How many of you guys play shut the box? If you guys do, put a red heart emoji down below. Let me know. I'd like to know who plays. All right, you guys, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. That's starting off good considering I didn't even ask for big bucks before I roll. And we've got a four. That first one was a 10, just in case you guys were wondering. We've got another 10. We're going to go ahead and do seven and three. 
and we've got another 10. So we're going to go ahead and do eight and two. Now, you guys, if we roll an 11, then we're going to shut the box. That's going to be $25. We need an 11, a five, or a six. And we got a five. Okay, so now we need a six. We're going to roll one dice, you guys. So one dice. We need six. Ah, three. Almost so close, yet so far. So $6 is what we're going to be paying for this first round to shut the box. So five and six. Here we go, you guys. Round number two. Wow, 11 again. Eight and no. Eight and three, you guys. I didn't do that two yet. Didn't do the two. Can we remember that? How about 10? So we're going to go ahead and do nine and one. Didn't do the two, didn't do the two. We've got another 10. So we're gonna go ahead and do six and four. So we've got two, five, and seven left, you guys. Two, five, and seven. Two, five, and seven. Ooh. So nope, we've got a six. So we're gonna have to color this one right here. Purple, purple, purple. So that is $14, you guys. 10, and we're gonna take this one right here, you guys and 15. Okay, one more round. Let me try really hard this time not to color the wrong box. Keep your fingers crossed for me, you guys. Oh, we got a two. We've got a two. Whew, big bucks, big bucks. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Okay, a nine. Come on, we need more big bucks, big bucks. We've got a 10, and we're going to go ahead and do seven and three. All right, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. How about a nine, an eight, and a one will work. So we've got a four and a six. So if we can roll a 10, we'll shut the box. How about a six? Okay, you guys, we just need a four, just need a four, and we got a two. Wow, that was a couple close calls there, you guys. So four more dollars going in, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure, oh, nope, we are gonna have to use the ones, one, two, three and four. One, two, three, four. Yes, yes, yes. Going into shut the box. Shut the box. This is going to a debt unless the debt is paid off before we finish this. Then it will go to emergency fund. I keep saying that because, you know, you got to say, you got to ask for what you want. You got to say good things. So that's why I keep saying that. All right, you guys. And so we have got 2024. We're going to go ahead and do this spicy number one or this number right here. This is 21. So we're going to do 21. And then we're going to do a less spicy number. We're going to go ahead and do this four. So we're going to put $25 in today. And we are getting there, you guys. We are getting there. So excited to save 2024 and 2024. I'm so excited because I tried to do 2023 and 2023 and I did not make it. I didn't finish it, but it's okay. We still saved quite a bit, but let's see. What do we have? We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So the next time that we do save 2024 and 2024, we should be able to send some money to the bank. All right, you guys, that's it in the big binder. I'm going to go ahead and move this on over to the debt. We're not going to do it yet, but we are going to do a debt update before we leave because we just made that great big huge payment. And I've got to tell you guys what's going on just in case you don't know what's going on. So now we're going to go ahead and do the life of a pig. And we are working in September. So here is September right here. This is going to the emergency fund. And for September, or for this friend challenge, we are doubling the numbers because it's only a $25 savings challenge. So let's go ahead and scratch this one right here. So that is going to be $2. Let's scratch one more and three. So eight buckaroos is what we're going to put into this today. So $8. And then we've got to color. Actually, no, you guys, we're not going to color on the back this time. We are just going to keep on because we don't have a lot of money left, you guys. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to do under the sea, which is part of life's a beach, but we're not going to do the rest. And the reason why I want to do under the sea is because it's getting close to being able to make a debt payment. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to roll one of these to see how many we're going to scratch before we were doing one two or three because we were using this dice. Today we're gonna do this. Let's see if we can scratch them all. We got two. 
All right, so let's scratch two. We got $5. I almost tried to scratch that three again. And $2, so $7. So the next time we play this, we've got three left. We're gonna go ahead and scratch these off and make that payment. So five, six, and seven going into under the sea. Under the sea for Life's a Beach, that is. Okay, we got that. All right, you guys, let me go ahead and clear a couple things here because we've got a little bit of money left. So we're going to go ahead and do September's binder. All right, you guys, let's see. What do we have left? We've got, yeah, we've got probably 30 bucks. I'm just guessing. So it shouldn't take too long. So let's see. We need the D12 and the heads are 12. The heads are 12. I keep saying that. Heads or tails. And let's get started. So we've got seven and tails. So seven and tails. That's a roll and save. And we got four. Four dollars going into this one. So one, two, three, and four. All right. What else can we get done? We've got nine. Nine and heads. That's a five dollar one. That's a spicy one back there. Five dollars for number nine. And we've got nine and heads again. So five more buckaroos going into that one. Ooh, that makes us go through our money very, very quickly, doesn't it? All right, let's see what else do we got. We've got 12, 12 all the way to the back. And this is for our CD right here. So let's go ahead and scratch this right here. Ooh, we got $10, wow. Everything is being spicy, spicy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 which means we've got four left. We're gonna press our luck, you guys. We're gonna press our luck. Let's see if we can find something that's $4 or less. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed, you guys. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, we've got 11, yay, 11. And so 11, guess what, you guys? There are $4 pieces of popcorn here. So we can be exactly correct on this. So we're gonna put that piece of popcorn right there. $4 going in. And you guys, we've got a little bit of cash to switch over, but not too much. I want to thank you guys for joining me today and seeing what Mr. Snow Gardener's budget looked like. Oh, you guys are like Marlene. Wait, wait, Marlene. You need to tell us where the debt's at and what news you have to share. So here is the debt snowball monthly check-in. The exciting news, you guys, is that we made our goal of September 12th for paying off the first section of the business debt. We only need $1,839.90. Mr. Snow Gardener made an extra payment today. And I say today, but he technically probably made it like a week ago. But it wasn't logged. It wasn't in the budget, right? Of $2,000, you guys. So that means we're down to $2,371. That's right, you guys. And I know my friend Jessica put a comment on the video saying, I bet all of that is paid off before the end of the month. She said, I bet that 4,000 plus is paid off by the end of the month. Guess what our goal is, you guys. That's right, everybody. Our goal is to pay this off before the end of the month. And Jessica, thank you for having the belief in us that we can do this. So obviously this goal down here was met. And so goal was met. Yay. That's my crappy star or my crappy celebration stuff. My confetti. Yeah. I, I don't know what it looks like, but that's what it's supposed to be. So new goal. $2,371 paid off by nine, 30 days, right? 30 days, nine, 30, 24. You guys heard it here first. Uh, that is the goal. And you guys stay tuned to see if we're able to do it. All right. So let's go ahead and trade a few of these dollar bills out. And of course, what I was trying to say to you guys before, I almost forgot to show you the debt update was goodbye. Not really. It was to remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day I think there's a reason though Ups and downs just like every different season, y'all